Company! Ho! Oh. Ship's company ready, Mom. Very good. Okay, no time to waste. I'm looking for four volunteers for a very challenging mission. In teams of two, you'll be working in uncharted territory, working on nothing more than ability, wit, and a budget of £1,000. Okay, you lot, who's up for changing rooms, meets the Navy? Aye, aye, ma'am. Are you saying you've got what it takes for this two-day mission? Aye, aye, ma'am. Okay, you're in. Time to get tough. You and you step forward. How'd you like to spend the next week scrubbing the decks? No, ma'am. So you think this mission might suit you after all? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Aha! You're in. Proud of your fellow shipmates. They are a shining example of Her Majesty's kindness. Mm -hmm. Do you have a problem with that? Oh. <laughs> okay, you need a haircut. You need. <laughs> okay, so it's obviously not your normal changing rooms. The Royal Navy has invited us to transform two rooms on the ship, the HMS Kent. And what a ship it is. The Duke-class frigate's main purpose is to detect and hunt down submarines. Its stealth-like design making it hard to pick up on radar. The Kent can operate almost anywhere in the world, with a bit of help from its crew of around 180 and their captain, Commander John Clink. One of the rooms we'll be renovating is the boys' mess. It's home to 42 of them. That's over a quarter of the male crew on board. This is where we live when we're not working. We watch telly, we relax, um, listen to music. Uh, we tend not to get bothered down here when we're down here because it's the only place we can get out of work, you know. So this is our home on board, if you know what I mean. This is where Taff can be found during the working day. So yeah. his, his boss always knows where he is. Yeah. If we do get a little bit of time to uh, enjoy ourselves, then this is what it's used for as well, you know. Telly goes off and the music gets cranked up and we have a, we have a couple of beers, so it gets used for that sort of yeah. thing as well. Obviously there's restrictions to what we can put in, like ev every bit of material that will be in the mess. That'll have to be um, fire retardant. Everything's got to be practical. If, if you're going to have cushions in the mess, they'd, they'd have to be fixed down or a place where we can put them if we did have to secure the ship for action. I just would hate to walk in and it, you know, it'd be like the old Vic or you know, the Rovers return. We don't want to come down here and have like dead or rails and you know, flowers everywhere because it's just not blokes, is it? It's just not us. And definitely no shells, ropes, portholes, anchors. No. Oh, none of that uh, writing on the wall where they, uh, they paint the wall and then they write something on it. Uh, there's no need for that. No one need at all, because that's just tacking it. The 18 girls on board have their own mess. It's fully equipped, but lacks a bit of pizzazz. It's got all the ideal, you know, main things that you would like. You know, it's got a stereo, it's got a TV, a video, cups of tea, you know, it's got fridge. beer fridge right next to us and that. But like, it's just, un, you know, not homely at all. For what, you know, girls like to come back and relax and, you know, be able to chill out in a nice environment, and that's what reckon it needs. Not so much girly, it doesn't have to be frilly or anything like that, just somewhere nice to be, uh, something nice to look at. Somewhere. So when you open the front door, you'll, you'll go in and you'll think, oh, somewhere to be able to relax at the end of a hard day's work and put your feet up. We don't want any navy blue no. or blue colours, do we? No. Boys aren't really to be trusted, I mean, I'm not sure about Neil, because I think he's got his head, head more on knowing what we want, <laughs> but Dean's been winding us up really bad on saying what he's going to do the mess that we don't want, you know, so... Hopefully, Neil will tell Dean not to do them. <laughs> right, are you all ready or ready to go? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Because it's a special naval vessel, then we have to have special equipment. And that costs more money, so the budget has been up to £1,000. Oh, oh, good. Yeah. Purples, you've got Linda Barker. Yellows, you've got Anna Ryder Richardson. Yeah. No keys to swap, so off you go. Yeah. Do you want it pink? Yeah, do it. No, nothing nautical. No, no, nothing nautical. <laughs> hey, there's no curtains to sew, so uh, got nothing to do, really. Oh, 
important. This looks important bit of a battleship to me. No, it's nothing. It's a smoke filter fan, so it's not used you, anymore. Yeah. So you're confident we can take that away? Yeah, we take that away. Great, because I tell you, this space is just giving me grey, grey, and more grey. <laughs> what is it you want to do here? Liven it up, get colours in. It needs it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. What kind of colours? Uh, oranges, reds, purples. Get it all in there, sort of. Daddy, yeah. well, all of them. Oh yeah, get them all just in. Chuck them on. Yeah, just. <laughs> Put them in the middle and just put a bomb on it. Just yeah. get it <laughs> More that, uh, you're scaring me now. Yeah. Let's go uh, Austin Powers, sort of psychedelic. Yeah, yeah. Neil, is that right? Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, baby. Uh, on this, you know, this is plain. It's like, you know, everything's metal and you get a bit of, yeah, you know, light and that up. And this is the only space, is it, that, that the girls have just to kind of chill out and yeah. relax? Yeah, yeah. You know, get some soft lighting in here. Soft uh, lighting? Yeah. yeah you know, these, so, these something where they can you know, relax, chill out, and you know. Okay. So we need it to be somewhere where they can, you know, if they want a party, they, it can turn into, you know, a good party area, but also, they need to be able to watch their telly. And that, and okay, you know I, mean? I like the kind of, where you come in, I need to turn you down a little bit. <laughs> but I love the colour story. Orange is yeah, great. Yeah, get in for loads of colour. Hang on a minute. There's somebody missing from this equation, and it's me. <laughs> A designer. <laughs> Sanding the walls, that's a first oh, for us. Need to paint it off. Need a yeah, nice right. But let's just go back to our little chat that we had about what you have in store for the boys' mess. Mm. So it's quite exciting. It is. Yeah. Go yeah, on then. It's really practical, but basically we just want to make it a bit more homely, so sort of where they can come up, come back and chill out on that. Right. Because they have a little drink in here, watch videos, yeah. listen to some music. But you've got a theme for it, haven't you? Uh, maybe a 50s diner cafe. <gasps> like, a bit like Grease or Happy Days. Yeah. <gasps> Jukebox in the corner, diner sign, you know. Because it's got a sort of boozy feel about it, actually, hasn't yeah. it? With yeah. the seating. Yeah. Mm. So why don't you carry on sanding the walls? Because okay. obviously, if we're going to sand the walls, we need paint. We do. So I'll go get it. Oh, carry on. <laughs> We have got turquoise, big style. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, we like that. Combine that with. Ah! Oh my God. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> go on, go for it. Is this where we're coming yeah, from? Yeah, this is it. Oh, you're yeah. happy. Yeah. I've just got this. This is just a little tiny bit of pattern. I mean. Oh, that's a bit boring, though. Yeah, but that's that's going to really help us be a bit calm. That's oh. what. It's, it's not green and it's not grey, so. Yeah. It's not green. It's not grey. You're happy. Yeah. Pistachio. This is pistachio. This is fifth. Dies, Dinah. Oh, cool, cool, yeah. Like it. The boys mess up. Yeah. 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 It's nice and bright, isn't it? Makes sure. just one happy thing. There's nowhere to run in a place like this, really, isn't there? <laughs> hmm. I have a confession to make. Oh, so early. I get claustrophobic. I get seasick. So I probably want to see you for two days. <laughs> if it's all the same with you. I'm thinking the easiest way, rather than painting all the bulkheads and stuff and all the pipes, because they are such a mess, we just blank whole areas with panels, so flat panels yeah, of colour. Yeah, but on the on the panels then, once the colour's on, I'm going to paint some crazy patterns. You know, really mad patterns. So it's kind yeah. of, this is your psychedelia, really. Yeah. Yeah, optical oh, illusion. Mm. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, cool. Beautiful. Good, good. Well, that's no problem. Yeah. We better start painting the panels. One of them's going to be orange, one of them's yeah. going to be turquoise. Oh, yeah, look at that. They're really bright, but I think they'll be alright. We wanted yeah. bright, didn't we? Oh, I love them. Yeah, definite. Could have been a bit brighter, but... <laughs> yeah, they possibly go mental over this one. I want you to make me this fantastic table for the middle of the room. It's, we've got to use the basic table that's there. All right. I want to drop leaves so that they can push up the leaves and make a big table when they're just having coffee and reading. Right. But they've got to put it down so when it's party time, right. they can just scoot it away and dance on the floor. And... No, and I'm using this. It's about time we gave this stuff a good name. It is indeed. I agree with you Fantastic. there. Fantastic. Look at these colours. Linda, what have you eaten this morning? Because you haven't <laughs> shut up. I know, but it's the boys. They've got, they've got me really excited. They're just throwing Can't colour around. Can't stop over 200 boys on here. Oh. By the end of the day, you're going to be in heaven, aren't you? I'm I know. in heaven already. Right, look, so look, look, we have to salute the ship. Come on, how do you salute? What do you do? Right. Hello, boys. Hello, 
There must be there some girls on there. That, I know for a fact, is a minesweeper. Is it? Yes. He's or a mine... A... Hello. Hello. Look at you. <laughs> You've done fantastically well. Yes, all right. Look how bad is it? I've now got a little treat for you. <laughs> You're gonna like it. Oh, you would be in there. Can you? Fifties yeah. diner, grease lightning, won't we? We were talking yeah. about that this morning. Yeah. We need a bit of art on the walls. So I yeah. thought I'd go and do a little bit of shopping. And look what I found. Mmm. <laughs> Lots of yummy clothes for us to wear. And then we'll take a little right. photo, <laughs> blow it up, stick it on the wall. So, you're Sandy. Mm -hmm. You're Danny. Oh, looks like I'm the pink lady. <laughs> so, I suppose we may as well do it here. It's going to be a first, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Girls getting undressed in the boys' mess. <laughs> Fabulous. Neil, I've already started here, so yeah. I've got this kind of barcode effect going on here. Okay. So all different widths and colours. Now, you choose what goes on here. I've got a bit of a yellow, uh, orange and red story going yeah. on there. It's a bit of blue, I think. Pale blue? Yeah. Pale blue? Yeah, okay. Blue. Just press it down at one end to start it with. Really bang up close to it, the one it's next to. Yeah, and yeah. just following it along. Just press it down. It's the impact that really makes it stick. And this has got a plastic covering on, but we'll leave the plastic on. Yeah, good, thank you. And, yeah, because Andy will cut the shape of the table, and then we'll take all the plastic off. <laughs> Hi! Boy! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Big boy! What do you think? <laughs> huh? Um... Don't like it? Do you like my hair? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice! <laughs> what? What's with this thing? Well, it's the 50s diner, isn't it? It's Greece. It's a pink lady, it's Sandy before and after. <laughs> and yeah. my little special friend. Don't even think that I'm putting anything on, <laughs> right? Before we go there. Well, I hope this is a bridge. Miss Smiley. Now, this has got to be the most fantastic sewing room I've ever Stop playing ships, Captain. <laughs> Stop dreaming. Linda, it's a lot of fabric. We've got lots of fabric. We have got lots of covers. 32 of these. Thir 32, please, Miss Smiley. 32, 32. 32, 32. Oh, Olivia, you can be serious. Oh, I'm serious. That done. What a With hideous. zips and all that malarkey. Zips and, and all that malarkey. Velcro on the other side so that they, you know, action stations, they've got to stay in there. Have I got 32 zips? Yes. Andy, can you not do something with that quiff? Can you not? No. Stick it down a bit. I've it as well. Sandy, you look fabulous. Bit of oh, attitude. Let's say Kent. Kent! Kent, Kent isn't it? Yeah. Great right, colour. Yeah. You alright, Neil? Yeah, fine. You're going on there, right? Yeah, it stays on really easy. It, it sprays around a lot, though, but it's got to right. clean up after the... Uh, yeah, just try to keep it down arm. there. Come on then. Alright. Oh, it's a ton. Oh, it is a heavy oh. piece of equipment. Now then, right, girl, young man. Doing? What we're having is 50's diner downstairs. Shh. Right. Say anything. And they've got a sort of fridge bit. And I thought we could extend that by making a counter. Really simple shape like that. Almost like a bar top. I've got this fantastic leg. Look, you screw that into the bottom of the four mica and then look. Fantastic. Good job you told me how to put that on, so I never would have worked out. <laughs> Simple. Bye. I'll be on my way. Go back down to your little hole. Ooh. Hey, Miss Smiley. Oh, deep, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come in with me? Come into my little room. It's going well, actually. Is it? Yeah. So come in and have a look. See, my boys are hard at work scrubbing Whoa, the floor. Whoa, it's all blue. Green like thingy. Turquoise. Turquoise. Yeah. <laughs> That's the word. Are we allowed to do this colour? Are we allowed to do a colour as strong as this? I think so. OK, what's this bit? Uh, here? This is just a wipe down area. Oh, this for is where we made a mess. It took yeah. five minutes to put the paint on. It's taken about half an hour to take the paint off our faces, off our hair, the off the floor, off the in carpet. In it's not supposed to be on. Exactly. Down in the boys' mess, Andy had better be on best behaviour. His new bar top is being inspected by the captain of the HMS Kent, Commander Clink. 
Yeah. Right. Right. And it comes out like that. The idea is that this leg then goes under there. Nice. You drop like a huge ironing board. Exactly yeah. like a huge ironing board. Actually, they probably use it for that. You think they'll like that? <laughs> you think they'll like that? Yeah, I think they'll love it. So, yeah. What do you think then? I think it looks like a huge ironing board so at this you, stage. Is it? Well, it ain't going to get much better than this, I'm afraid. Yeah? So how are you going to st stick it down so it doesn't roll around? We're going to fix seat? it from underneath. Yeah. Cut the screws. Hence, that's why the panel's been taken off there. Yeah, very good. So I'm getting yeah. there. Cut the screws from underneath. That's secure it there. Leg gets screwed up into it. As long as it's up at a level of it, it ain't going to go anywhere. Even in a rough sea. Trust roll, me. Roll the panel <laughs> yeah. off. Trust me. Too late over. to call you back. I'll tell you what we're doing then, mate. Um, well, how, 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 could, how could I <laughs> say to you that it would definitely be safe? You can say to me it'll be definitely safe. It will be I'll, definitely I'll trust safe. you. Look, you might go into battle saving our shores and all that. And, and it'll still be here. Oh, it's, this is the ship is sink, but it's still be here. For ironing. So this is the bridge. Nice view, isn't it? Yeah, it's very nice view. Now, Carol. Yeah. I've heard this is the sewing station. Mm-hmm. I have 42 of these. Mm-hmm. And I have look, PVC galore. That's a shock for you. White and red. Mm -hmm. My 50s diner. Very 50s diner. Please, could you sew them for me? Yeah, sure. What did you do? Yeah. What have you got there? Lindas. I don't Linders. know if you like to see this, actually. These are Lindas? No, that's the old ones. She's got it in first, has she? Lindas new ones. <gasps> oh, so you finished those, then? On with the leather. <laughs> <laughs> Just the 42. Just the 42 by tomorrow night. Do love you. Yes. I do. No problem. No. You might be able to drive a big frigate, but you can't drive a screw in. It's almost there, actually. You said. That's nigh on done it. You ha is it gone in enough? Are you happy with that? Remember, full Sengal. Oh, I said that's you, so. Oh, you did indeed. And the thing is now, if it does collapse, you fixed it. Right, tuppy boy, help me turn this over and you can see. Show me what you think. This is my little baby. How are you doing, boys? Good. Hey, Good. fantastic. What is it? It's a table. It's a tabletop. It's in the middle of the room. Does it all uh, come off, does it? Yeah, yeah not yet. Oh, yeah. What's right. that with you? You've got a bit of a downer going on. No, I'm right. Neil's doing a fantastic job of this. You all right? Um, yeah. Sure now. Yeah. Come here, I've yeah, got a job right, for sure. you. Come on, come on. We need some work. Go we on, need some work out of you, Taff. Right. And this has got your name on it. This? What do you think this is, then? Uh, for the kitchen side, is it? No. Nope. Try again. No idea. <laughs> we need a notice board and somewhere to put all their mail and their messages right. and magazines and stuff like that. So I've got this whole sheet of marine ply here. Half of the panel is going to be metal. So there's magnets holding all their messages on. Oh, great. This section is for magazines, just, just slots. So that's your, your wall there. Just slots like that all the way down so they can have magazines in. Right. And then next to the magazine slot, we've got loads of compartments for all their mail and all their messages and stuff. You're looking at me. It's yeah. Well, look, let's see where it goes. Yeah. yeah. Let's see where it goes. Yeah. Good idea. Late evening on day one, Linda's boys are still working. I'm all at sea with a pile of sewing, and Anna and the girls, well, they've decided to catch up on some beauty sleep. So, girls, how do you think it went today, then? I think we were fantastic, personally. We're all right, but I'm really, really tired now. I tell you, they're yeah. quite comfy, these little bunks, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like not it. much room, though. Are you sure the boys aren't coming back? I yeah. Think That's all right. I don't think so, anyway. Right, then. Heads down. Night, night. Ready for tomorrow. Good night, Emma. Good night, Emma. Good night, Louise. Good night, Anna. Good night, Louise. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How's it going? <laughs> you haven't been sleeping down there, have you? No. no. <laughs> Are oh, you all right? Yeah, good. I've already made a start, got the boards out, and right. Neil's going to help. 
I've got to paint these panels pretty quickly. Yeah. Do you want to do the dotty one? Right, what needs painting? Well, I thought all the circles just need painting out in kind of an orange. Well, this orange. So I've got turquoise on orange. Well, what about no problem? Excellent. How about you, Neil? How yeah, did you get fine. on? Yeah, good. You sleep all right? Yeah, like a log. It's all that hard work you've been uh, I know. We did onto. really well, though. So we've got to get finished pretty quick. That's looking all right. Yeah, we've got Chevron a bit of, style. A bit of dust blowing over onto these ones. Yeah, so. well, that's all the woodwork that Andy's doing, but we'll maybe get it out of the wind a bit. Yeah. I don't think it's going to rain today, though. Do you reckon? Well, I don't know. What do you think? I think it is, Salty yeah. Salty sea dog, you do. Yeah, definitely. You can smell it in the air. Throw the tape over, Linda. Throw the tape over. OK. So, plimps for tables. The table there, behind you, what we're going to do is build some plimps. Now, a plimp is bit of timber, about so high, so the table sits on it, so it raises it up. Oh, yeah. Why, the, I don't know, the but... The table sits up? Yeah, so it. the table's higher, so you can eat your dinner on it or something. Oh, Is that all right, right, yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You've only got enough rates, though. <laughs> Despite last night's efforts, those cushion covers still aren't finished. So I've enlisted the help of two of Her Majesty's finest. So uh, if you could do Anna's covers there, and you could finish off the red uh, vinyl what there. Doing? And uh, what, what you want is these? No, 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 that's Anna's. Uh, a Captain behind you. XO. Yes, this is very impressive, you're Carl. You're doing Anna's stuff. Is this a mate? Oh, it's that male rock that we're doing. Looks a bit shoddy. Yeah, well, I'm doing it, aren't I? What is it, Taft Thomas, aged four and a half? Yeah. Right, that's the um, magnetic notice board. So I've cut these out. Yeah? And I have cut them out. I'm going to put another one there. Slats going across so they can stick their mailies in them. Oh, looks wonky shit, mate. Oh, yeah, it will be. Looks well dodgy. It's all right, mate. The ship moves around, doesn't it? Oh, OK. Yeah, so you won't notice. It's the same as all your paint in. And they're letting you uh, crack on with power tools? Yeah, goggles as well, mate. Do they know what they're doing? No. Oh, OK. No idea. Well, what is less, then? What are you telling me is what less? What is less, I think, just... A couple of doors, simple, we'll hide all this, tidy all this up, a couple of little doors on there, hide the video and everything, yeah? And leave this standing. You've already ruined it, boss. Oh, oh, how can you say I've ruined it? It's a beautiful colour. Do you not like this colour? It's fantastic, it's energising, don't you think? No. Oh, gunmetal. stop hitting me! Gunmetal grey. You're not telling me you like gunmetal grey. No. This is supposed to be a warship. Yeah, but this is going to go in the war. They're the enemy's only got to see the colour of this and they run a mile. They can't see. There's no blooming holes in the thing. Well, they might catch hey. it. Come on and laugh at us. Stop it. Yeah. Middle of day two, and I've recruited even more of the ship's crew to help stuff cushions up on the bridge. <laughs> this is hard work for me, but it's probably a walk in the park for you. <laughs> what would you normally be doing? Up down the engine rooms, I guess. Oh, so it's nice. Bit of fresh air. Hi. The sunshine? Yeah. <laughs> Can't be bad. Because you know who made these, don't you? Apart from me, I made some of them, so don't be too cheeky about them. <laughs> the captain that made the rain. Did really? Excuse me. Well, I don't want to sit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. <laughs> Where have you been? I, I thought you'd been drilling on the forecastle for the past hour. Have you? I, it's absolutely freezing. What, drilling for drilling some for sort of like, yeah, No, sort of like some platform to put under a table to make oh. the tables bigger so like with Andy yeah with Andy oh. and Emma and the select right, actually then. bless her that's all right because now you can help me because what we're doing yeah. is breaking up this pistachio green yeah or vespa green and we're we'll putting put this black on the wall we're doing this black on the wall which yeah. sounds very simple doesn't it, it does. what I really wanted was like a checkerboard like a black and white border to go all the way around yeah but because we couldn't get a black and white check I've had to cut white squares. Right. So we have to stick each one down. Oh no, you don't. Oh yes. <laughs> very, very quickly. Yeah, very quickly. Very quickly. So what should we do? Stick the black <coughs> down first. Yes. Yeah. Literally peel and rub. <coughs> peel and rub. Right. That's it. Look at this. Stick about plastic. These are the wheelie bin cover. I think that is the saddest thing ever. <laughs> well, on a kitchen, it's going to look so How bored so are you good. that you have to cover your wheelie bin? Yeah, but look, all over these ki boring, boring kitchen units. Neil, you're with me on this because you wanted to do this. Did you think it would be a beach hedge? 
No. Did you think the kitchen <laughs> would be a clematis border? No. It's fantastic, isn't it? No. No. <laughs> We're doing it though, aren't we? Wild, funky, Austin Powers. Groovy baby. I don't know. Groovy baby. I don't baby. know. Sorry, Austin. You flowers? don't know. Flowers. Fantastic. Taff won't like it. We better do it before he comes down. And then it'll be too late. <laughs> do whatever she says. It's this naval thing, isn't it? If the boss says do it, you do it. Yeah. But she's not in the Navy, you can say no. Always follow the last order. We've been ordered to put these on. Up on deck, Anna and Emma are getting on swimmingly, revamping bar stools. So tell me, how long have you been on this ship, Ems? A few months, really. About and how long are you actually signed up for, if that's the right term? About, well, it's 22 years, but... 22 years? Yeah. <laughs> you can leave after four and a half if you want to, or... But you know, it's, it's not that bad, really. No, I'm sure it isn't. So. I think we've got a little recruit there. <laughs> but, you know, it's all right, we'll do a girls' chat. <laughs> <laughs> How many girls are there on board? 18. 18? Well, yeah, well, 17 now. One's just left, so there's 17 of us. <gasps> and how many boys? I think it's about 165, I think. I think so. <laughs> so how do you, how do you join? You drive yourself mad trying to get these little edges, couldn't you? I know, yeah. What do you think, though? It looks better on than it does just a sheet, but... I don't know, I like look better on than off, though. I like all this shiny stuff because it means the girls have to uh, polish it all for Captain's Rounds so it sees them off a bit. Didn't we have a visit from Commander Clink last night? Yeah, we did. back was turned. Yeah, he helped put the bar in. Did he? Andy. And me, yeah. Well, he actually was physically doing things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's quite good, actually. Fantastic. I was quite surprised. Do you want to be a commander? <laughs> No, I wouldn't mind, but I don't like it. Oh, I don't know. He had to start somewhere, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's true. No. There we go. So what did he think of it? What, the bar? Well, the whole thing. He thought... He made a comment about the bar looking like the ironing board. He said... Yeah. And, and you was, said... I said it was all right. I said they like it. Ironing right. board. <laughs> Right, what do you think about this letter rack now, then? It's all right. It needs something to show where the actual holes are, though, because when it's up, it's all the same, isn't it? Well, yeah, I thought they could put their names on it. Yeah. You know, they're just like... Yeah, they, they'll do that anyway, but let's, I don't know, put... Have we got circles on the other one? Yeah. Put circles or something on these. Well, yeah, we could, well, we could do that. You know, what about... Not, not on every one, just say one there. Do you like the four mica thing. colours? You know, yeah. the red and the orange and the two blues. Yeah, cut a few we circles could, on Yeah, that. we could do that and just stick those on. That'll look yeah. quite neat. Yeah, an orange around you. Um, oh, leather jackets. Somebody yeah. mentioned the leather. They look great. Who's Dean? Dean's Taft, the lad that's doing our mess. And Neil's cl the club swinger. The tall one, the nice one. <laughs> yeah, I know which one. Oh, the, oh, the nice one. Yeah. <laughs> How much more work have you got, Steve? Quite a bit. Can we we've finish on time? Panels. Yeah, we're going to... Well, yeah. I think it'll be a push, it always is, but we'll get there. Yes. We've got some more panels, we've got all the seating. How are the cushions doing? I've had a... Captain. You know, I've helped a bit with I that. I hate to boss you about on your own ship, mm. but there's some sewing to be done. OK, I'm off. Here you go. Moving path. Oh, it's like I a big jigsaw puzzle. This one's round the wrong way, mate. Time's up. I just wonder if Linda and the boys went a wee bit overboard with this psychedelic disco. This is a huge transformation. It's what we had before was? Grey. Functional. Grey, more grey. Fairly basic. Very basic, but, I would um, said. But very much in keeping with the ship. Oh, absolutely. So we've got chevrons, we've got stripes, we've got 
the outdoor feel. We've got circles. We've got uh, what is it? Disco mania. Disco mania. Oh, the, of course, because the ball. So it's Austin Powers. Austin Powers me. Disco mania. So it's just Cheeseville, really, isn't it? Well, it's kind of very over the top, very loud, really outgoing. I think they got that. I think they you? got that. Yep. I think they got that. Uh, <laughs> What was your most expensive piece in the whole mess? Well, it had to be all the construction materials. I spent a fortune on really thick marine ply and all the fireproof fabrics. But we had to do that because of the MOD. It mm -hmm. just would not have been allowed on the ship had it not been fireproof. What about your best bargain? Well, probably had to be my wheelie bin covers. They were fantastic. I know what you think about you those. You were fantastic. They're wheelie bin covers. All over the country, we're going to have wheelie bin covers. Yeah, and quite right, too. A bit of beach hedge on a kitchen. Never hurt anyone. It was lovely. I love it. <laughs> Budget was £1,000 this week. It was. We needed it, I'm sure. Do you think you're over or under? Oh, I've no idea. We should be under. No. Oh, no! Not much, not much. £1,010 and £96. Pence. I always say I'm so good at spending money. <laughs> Other people's money. Yeah, best kind of money to spend. <laughs> I can't believe you're nervous when it's not your own home, <laughs> but it is kind of a home from home, yeah. so open your eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Can you go and pair some glasses? <laughs> oh my god, is that table? Oh god, Jack. That's much bigger. That's Chinese than Chinese is from there. It's a little room. Oh, we've got a fridge. Oh god. You've got a uh, clematis fridge and you've got... Yeah. That's nice. the Ministry of Defence yeah. on the phone as we speak saying, <laughs> What have you done? You you got the mirror ball, which was fantastic. You put the lights down low, it's got an electronic um, oh, yeah. poster on it. So you can give it the disco girl. Oh, good. Yeah. And it's a full length mirror. Yeah. Thank God for oh, that. Oh, yeah. That's what we wanted. <laughs> you can't ever see it. Yeah. It boxed in all your um, yeah. video and nice. oh, yeah. bits and pieces there, so it's a bit tidier. And there's a lovely little heart Sorry. cushion as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely heart it's cushion. Yeah. Yeah. And a little screen. Do you like the colour? Yeah. 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 Very bright. Yeah. Yeah, but all day you work in a very non colourful. It's certainly the same. You're going to walk into it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks the other girls will like it. Yeah. 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 She goes down well. I think they will. You like the fridges with the. Yeah. Beach, yeah, nice, fresh, yeah. outdoor sort of things on them. Yeah, yeah. You do? Nice. Yeah, yeah, like them actually, I think they're all right, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well, nice. no kind of <laughs> no. no, I think it's nice, lovely. The girls are happy, but will 42 burly sailor boys want to kick off their shoes and jive the night away in this classic 50s diner? I know I haven't been down here very much, um, and it didn't make me feel very well when I came down yesterday morning, but this is a stroke of genius. You like it? It's fantastic because, like, you know, what can you do with something that is so restrictive? I, mean, I don't mean restrictive material-wise. It's just it's got pipes. It's got, it's, you know, it says ship. Whatever you do with it, but mm. this is just American diner. It's brilliant. Well done. Good. Thank what you. What was your most expensive item? Well, probably the sign. The neon sign. Why Margate, though? I wondered that. Because that is the name of this mess. This boy's mess. And right. all the messes on the ship are named after towns in mm. Kent. So, hence Margate. So this is Margate. Mess. I know it's a bit strange. But Best bargain? Well, probably the leatherette that we're sitting on that you know very well. Mm -hmm. Because even though there are 42 oh. seats, so it amounts to quite a lot of money, it's actually only £10 a metre. And it's a really good quality leatherette, approved by the Navy. So I would say that's the best bargain. And it's quite thick as well, isn't it? Didn't, it's not going to tear very easily. Oh, it's lovely, very mm -hmm. quality. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> is that your favourite thing? Mm, no, because I think I have a few favourite pieces, particularly the leather jackets, the guitar, but I think my favourite has got to be the photo. <laughs> because of Andy's hair. It's ridiculous, that is isn't it? a bad hair day. That is. <laughs> worse than usual. <laughs> The budget was a thousand pounds, and you know you've gone over budget. Don't I you? do. Because, yeah, I know it just seemed to be spiraling out of control at one mm. point. However, it's not as bad as you think. It's one thousand and thirty-six pounds. Thirty-six. Not that bad. Mm. And they're worth it because they're worth it. I don't really want to tell you to open your eyes because I'm getting a nice cuddle here at the same time. Mm -hmm. But so this could go on forever and I'm being selfish. So open your eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, that's different. Yeah, it's a lot different than what I thought. What a difference. Yeah. What yeah. a complete difference. It's half a one a burger now. <laughs> yeah, that's great though. It's an American 50s diner. That is I'm glad we haven't lost fantastic. any of the seats. 
Yeah, we've still yeah. got any seats. Look we lost that any of the seats. Fantastic sign. Oh, oh yeah, brilliant. Margate. How cool is that? God. Very cool. <laughs> that cost a lot of money, that thing. Oh, oh, there's all our anchors and ropes and shells. Oh, please. I'm so sure you really missed it. Oh, um, I'm well happy. We've got a leather jacket with Neil and a leather, leather jacket with Dean. Oh. <laughs> and look at that photograph. For posterity, oh, yeah. <laughs> Andy and I and full teddy boy and somebody uh, said that they were in fancy dress, but yeah, I, I, saw, I, um, I thought they meant in their navy stuff. No, for them no, 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 no. What's this? Is this plastic? Is it? Yeah, it's vinyl, wipeable. Because oh, yeah. you know what you boys are like, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anything you would change? No, I wouldn't change anything. Actually. Would you have second guessed that it might be like this? No, no, nah, I didn't. Not at all. No, I had no idea what it'd be like. I, for some reason, I thought they were going to do it a bit pubby. And I was a bit worried about that. Yeah. And I expected to open my eyes and it'd be like, be like the Ro and... Rover's Return. Yeah. <laughs> that velvet wallpaper and stuff. But no. <laughs> yeah. I like that. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's a good idea because the lads, you know, they come back and they bring their big Take eats. Away. There's always curry all over the place when, uh, <laughs> when we come back. Yeah, the night. easy wipe. Yeah. <laughs> Changing rooms meets the Navy. You thought it was going to be all shipwrecked, but no, it was ship shape in the end. Hope you enjoyed watching. See you again soon on Changing Rooms. Bye bye. And the new series of Changing Rooms starts on Monday at 8.30 here on BBC One. Next tonight, Casualty Goes Down Under.